Lucas Media. So I want to give a reaction to this video. Um, this is pretty disturbing. I'm going to click on it, give my thoughts about it, fair use. And then, of course, at the end, I want you to let me know what y'all think. This intervention might have put an end to a deadly shooting July 4th at a Fort Worth car wash before it could get even worse. Court documents for the arrest of 27-year-old Kennard Murphy outline how the shooting started and how it came to an end. Look at this brother, man. Come on, man. Y'all killing people on the 4th of July? Three people were killed, two young girls, as well as 42-year-old Terrell Wynn. Fox News Amelia Jones spoke with Wynn's family, joins us with new details on the investigation. Amelia. Blake, uh, those three victims were not involved in the initial fight. As you mentioned, those victims include two young girls and 42-year-old Terrell Wynn. I spoke to his sister today, who told me that the family is still in shock about what happened. So... A brother ended up ending the lives of three people, three people, three people by a five minute decision. Let me keep playing it. Fort Worth police say this car wash off West Cleburne Road in Fort Worth is where a large 4th of July gathering ended in gunfire. According to court documents, 27-year-old Kennard Murphy went to this gathering to see his 11-month-old daughter. Witnesses told police due to prior domestic violence issues between Murphy and the baby's mother, there are relatives in her family. Uh, hold on. Let me keep playing it real quick. Who don't like him. Just. So, wait a minute. Before we even keep playing the video, you go in there to see your child. You have baby mama drama, right? I don't know who issue it is, but they clearly just said her family didn't like him. They was into it. At this at this point, what this brother should have did was get the courts involved. I know y'all don't want to hear this, but, you know, I'm a big believer in getting the police involved, especially when it comes to these kids and get the law involved. In order to prevent all of this, man, just go get custody of your kid, joint custody. Before midnight, one of those relatives got in a fight with Murphy. At first, it appeared the two men were going to get in a fist fight. Then Murphy pulled out a rifle and started shooting at the other man, who was unarmed. So, and I want brothers to be more clear, too, as well. Stop trying to fight people, man, in 2024. Nobody's trying to fight head up no more. This ain't 2000, where, you know, y'all fight. We used to... Y'all remember back in the day, you, you would fight, you would shake it up, and you go your separate way. Nobody's doing that no more. We have been programmed to aim first, then feel remorse later. And it started all the way with the babies. Look at little Dirk, son. He's 10 years old, squeezing already. But let me keep playing the video. Three people not involved in the fight were hit by gunfire. Like, life is so unfair. It's so wow, unfair. that's so sad. And it'd be the innocent people that get hurt. Twyla Wynn's brother, 42-year-old Terrell Wynn, was one of the three people shot. He was hit in the leg and died from his injuries. Bullets also struck the back of a vehicle and hit two sisters in the back seat. One-year-old Winter Thuston and four-year-old Ivy Pierce. And this is the more even sadder part. This ninja then pulled out a rifle, fired it. You didn't even hit the people that you were intending to hit. This is how you know he did no training. He has no critical skills. And a lot of us out here, a lot of brothers, honestly, are very, very, very overly emotional. We have been programmed to think what our feelings instead of logic. And all he had to do, all he had to do with him in a fight was either call the police or just try to leave the situation. But you knew you had problems. You knew you had problems with your baby mama. And you knew that something probably was going to go down. So you had a rifle on you. When you pull that rifle out, what, what, what good can come from this? The children were taken to the hospital and later died. Come on, man. This is somebody one, one and two-year-old babies, man. They haven't even got a chance to live life yet. At all. But these dumb ninjas out here just taking lives. Babies didn't deserve it. 
My brother didn't deserve it. The documents go on to say an unknown person shot Murphy in the back, forcing him to drop the rifle. Then another person rushed over to grab it before Murphy could get to it and continue shooting. I just hate he was caught in the wrong place. And thank you for that civilian who shot him. Honestly, we shot Murphy because he could have easily prevented more lives from being lost. You got this man over here literally... You just squeeze. I mean, how do you shoot you, somebody in front of you and you just, what are you doing? At the wrong time. Wynn couldn't confirm if her brother knew anyone at the large gathering. She believes he was there to use the car wash. Wynn says her brother moved to Texas from Louisiana about five years ago for a better life. Now, could you imagine moving somewhere to change your life and your life end up getting lost and you have nothing to do with it? And honestly, I know somebody, you know, who she did that. She moved to different cities to help change her son's life. And then the ninjas over where she's at end up deleting her son. He was going to celebrate his 43rd birthday in two weeks. His sister says that he also leaves behind a 21-year-old son. You know, how, you know how young 43 years old he is? I, I, so this young brother lost his life for nothing. Along with those babies. He's going to always hold a special place in my heart. When police spoke to Murphy, they said that he admitted to pointing the rifle at the relative of his baby's mother, who he was fighting with. And he admitted to police, they say, that he tried to shoot him. Murphy is currently charged with capital murder of multiple persons. Fort Worth police say he's still in the hospital recovering from his injuries, so he hasn't been booked into jail yet. Listen, man, I have no empathy for this guy, empathy. I hope that he and and it's in Texas, so he's probably gonna get the death penalty. It is what it is. You even admitted it. You shouldn't have never did it. And I just really hope that you know men out there, if you have issues, think before you pull out a weapon. And if you really got issues with your baby mama, baby mama drama, please get the police involved. Honestly, get the courts involved. It ain't even worth it. Like I said, nobody's fighting anymore. Nobody's doing it. Just, just paid it. Just paid it ten thousand dollars. See, we we think so we we think chess and not ch I mean checkers and not chess. We think that spending ten thousand dollars is a lot of money, but he could have got the courts involved, spending thousand dollars. Now instead, he's spending way more money for his life which there's a good chance he's going to get life without parole or even a death penalty. So which one was worth it more? You know, we got to stop thinking so short-sighted as brothers, man. Again, if you got baby mama drama, get your kids on child support. Like I said, I got kids. I got a great relationship with my co-parents. But if I ever, ever were to have issues with anybody, I'm getting the courts involved. We're going to have it on paper. I'm not pulling out no rifle at no 4th of July and opening fire while a bunch of people are out there. Just ridiculous, man. Y'all, I'm done. Tell me what y'all think.